Tetragoon was doomed to die. You can see it's low on health, the tank approaching. But, um... But yeah, still putting pressure on, and now he's running straight into his base, trying to go after that tank! Oh my god, in case he has a second factory out now, but he needs to protect that tank. If he loses that tank, he's screwed! Oh my god, I think the tank went down! The tank did go down, and now Harangi can just pick off SCVs. Now what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to time it perfectly, and there we go, that's what I was going to say, he's going to have to get the SCVs in the way um, to make sure the Dragoons can't immediately attack that tank when it gets out. Oh, I hope that was Siege Mode. Yes, Siege Mode is complete. Oh man, that was the oh my gosh. Oh man, Casey's still behind though. He is still really behind. He only lost a few SCVs, but he has lost four tanks, I think, and a bunch of Marines. That is just horrible. Absolutely horrible to lose so many tanks. Um, basically, it means he's going to have to struggle for defense for so much longer. He's just going to have to play all D. He's going to have to turtle in. And Harangi, if he's smart, he's probably going to uh, expand again. In fact, it looks like he might be thinking about expanding at the... Uh, at the yeah, he's, he's going to expand again. Uh, he may even get another expansion, I'm not sure, uh, before too long. Not immediately, but before too long, he'll get another expansion going. Because he knows that Casey is just going to have to play defensively for a while now. And he's actually pumping out a lot of Dragoons at the same time just to keep that pressure up. Moving in with those Dragoons, the tank's not quite in the right position. They're going to have to move forward a little bit and just depend on those mines to protect them. SV's running away. SVs are going to try and get in the way to keep those Dragoons from getting too close to those tanks. A nice move. Um, doesn't lose too many SCVs in that attack, but he didn't kill any Dragoons either. So, um, man. So anyway, but yeah. So Casey is going to have to play defense. He's going to have to, as long as Harangi can defend against the um, uh, Vulture Harass, which he can, especially with, I mean, right now, uh, Casey can't even think about Vulture Harassing. Um, he needs to keep his Vultures in his base just in case to run around and kill Reavers and stuff or whatever he happens to drop out. And... Um, He's had an armory for a while though, now, by the way. They pointed out before, but he, I wonder why he hasn't really done anything with it. He is probably going to have a Goliath out, though, which is going to be really handy against this shuttle. In fact, that may be what it might give him the opportunity to turn things around and get back in this game. Because if he can snipe that shuttle with a, with a Goliath um, and take out the river quickly before it does too much damage, then that will be a, a big setback for him. Um, let's see, it looks like he's building a third command center getting ready to expand again. That's probably what he needs to do, actually. Uh, here comes the shuttle. Turret's not quite up yet. Drops the Zelda to take the hit. The Reaver's out. Reaver shot. Oh, no, it doesn't die. It goes directly onto the tank. Vultures come in. I don't know why he doesn't have a Goliath. For some reason... <coughs> Sorry about that. My throat just suddenly seized up. But, um... Uh, anyway, I don't know why he doesn't have a Goliath. He, he has the armory. He has the factory... There's a freaking Reaver, and oh snap. Oh snap, it's three base carrier time for Harangi. Um, now, Casey already has the armory, so he's in good shape there. What he needs to do is spot that. He needs to spot that. Uh, he really, really, really needs to spot these carriers. If he does, he'll be able to get enough Goliaths out to deal with um, the carriers before they arrive, and that will be perfect, and that, again, might be a way that he can... Get, it, get his way back into the game by, by ruining the element of surprise of those carriers. Oh! Oh! Scarab <laughs> auto-attacks the nearest enemy, which happened to be that mine. The Reaver saving itself with that Scarab, but um, doesn't do any damage to the SCVs in the process. Um, takes a hit from the tank as well, so that, that Reaver is probably not going to be able to, to get too much done at this point. And so Casey is actually, despite things looking a little bit hairy there for a minute, um, Casey is actually um, doing pretty well defending here, and he's getting his, his third command center going, so he's probably going to be able to take a third base pretty soon. Um, we'll see if Harangi decides to go for um, a fourth base, or if he's just going to go balls in with three bases and just make a bunch of bunch of crap. Um, there is the Goliath finally out. Um, another machine shop going down in an academy. Yeah, so if he can get a comp, he's going to go for comp set stations and immediately scan around to see exactly what Harangi's doing. Hopefully he'll see those carriers uh, coming, in which case he'll be in good shape. He'll be able to get enough Goliaths out to deal with them. Um, I thought I could have sworn. You know what? I think I saw they had the bottom of the screen blocked off um, because they were showing something, an FP view or something like that. I don't remember what they were showing at the bottom of the screen. So I couldn't see exactly what the building was, so I think... That, that starport, I assumed it was a, a command center, and it was actually a starport, so I'm sorry, he's not getting up at third base after all. 
Um, but he does have a starport up, so that's cool. Um, anyway, and he does have a dropship out as well. He's going to load some stuff up in it. Um, this could go very well. There's a reaver and a cannon at this base, so there's no way he's going to be able to do any good with a drop at that, that um, kind of 7 o'clock base. Uh, he's actually just going to ferry them out of his base and just do run around on the top, uh, the bottom of the map, I guess. He doesn't quite have comps out yet. Uh, it's almost about to finish, so uh, maybe he's even timing it so that he can run in with these vultures and see what's going on. Here comes the vultures. The vultures, one way or another, are going to spot that stuff, running away from those carriers. But he knows the carriers are out now. Um, but he's also realized he's not going to be able to do too much good attacking that side. Um... Ooh, nice micro there. Nice micro. That is one of the things that Casey was was uh, known for when he was when he was good back in the day. He is he had really good micro. Uh, in fact, his nickname actually was the Neo Emperor because um, they thought he was going to be the next boxer for a little while. Although people keep saying that about a lot of players, and no one no one no one ever seems to qu quite be the next boxer. Um, anyway, well yeah, so we're probably going to see Casey pump out more Goliaths here. Um, and hopefully get prepared for those those carriers, um, or I guess you know, knowing Casey, he might go for some raids or something instead. Who knows? But uh, Harangi is well prepared for this drop, so it's not going to be able to accomplish anything with this drop here. Um, <laughs> Casey now putting up a few more turrets around just to be safe, planting some mines around. He's got a, a good a good little chunk of tanks. Uh, there's his third base now going up. He's probably going to float it up to the north there. Uh, well, duh. And where else is he going to take it? But um. In the meantime, Harangi's built up a sizable ground force, so I don't know how much good he's going to do. He's going in anyway with the drop. Tanks come out. Two tanks come out. Let's see. Oh, he's going to do the old school tank micro. Dodging the disruption blasts. Awesome. Oh, no. Is he going to lose it? No, 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 no. Oh, he should have known that that dropship was going to get it down, but he was distracted in the middle here. Only glass, not a lot of vultures. They're not going to be very good for for taking out those... those um, uh, Zealots, the Zealots doing Harangi doing a very good job of, of microing those Zealots, bringing them all the way into the fray before attacking with them so they can get good coverage. And wow, Casey trying to move out to cover his third base just gets absolutely worked. So I think there went any chance of Casey getting back in this game. Um, he needed he needed a, actually, and, and it's almost a, a little bit of a, an irony that I was saying that he needs to get more Goliaths early so he can deal with the carriers later, but because of that, he only had a few vultures, and he really needed more vultures to deal with those zealots uh, in the front, and it just uh, didn't work out for him. Uh, because of that, the goliaths, the goliaths just do not protect against vultures nearly as well as vultures actually. Uh, goliaths don't protect against, go against zealots nearly as well as vultures do, actually. Um, so his army just got eaten absolutely eaten there and um, now he's just kind of trying to fend off with for bare life but in the meantime those carriers are up so um, you know even if he fends off this this ground attack there's yeah there's the there's the the the, uh, the other shoe dropping uh, and he's only got like one Goliath in play right now so when he needed he needed all those Goliaths from before to even stand a chance against these carriers um, and so he's just gonna get um, further eaten alive now by um, Harangi's uh, carrier, so height actually going up two to one in the series. Ace is on the ropes now. They've got to win uh, a, an another game. They've got to win game four in order to take it to game five. In order to have a chance in game five of winning the series. Um, so anytime is going to be facing Yellow Arnak uh, in the next in the next one. You know it would be really cool if Yellow ended up playing Yellow. That would be a fun Ace match. Although Yellow is not the best on ace, so um, probably not going to throw him in the ace match. Anyway, time for game four. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Take care. Thanks for watching.